guys. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for a Wednesday pour. Uh, today, I'm taking a little inspiration from Molly with Molly's Artistry. Uh, she did a couple, I think it was maybe the video before the last one. Um, she did a uh, open cup pour, but she used Australian Floetrol and she was trying to create lacing. So I am not using Australian Floetrol. She used a lime green with paint gray and phthalo blue. It really, really is a great color selection. So I wanted to do an open cup pour as well. I'm gonna add a color or two to it, um, but I just wanted to stick with a regular open cup pour. But um, you know, a lot of my open cups, I don't always have negative space. So I kind of want to keep negative space with this. So um, I've got an idea in my head. We'll see if it plays out. Let's get down on the canvas and get started painting. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so what I've got today is a, a, an 18 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. Um, I scraped off a painting on this and let it dry, so it's almost dry. Um, I want to do an open a cup pour, and I want to work on hopefully leaving some negative space. So today's base coat is going to be my white, titanium white. This here is my blue quartz um, from Treasure Gold. Mixed with a little of the Glacier Blue from Arteza. I've got Amsterdam Phthalo Blue, Amsterdam Reflex Green, and then I've got Payne's Gray from Golden. So I'm gonna put down some white right around here. Bury this cup right there in the center. Start off high with the paint's gray. Reflex green. Phthalo blue. Some of that blue quartz. And with each color as I'm pouring in, it's slowly pushing each color back out. As you can see, it's selling up pretty good. Use my little torch here, kind of just pop any air bubbles. It'll help bring out some of those cells. And that torch is done. So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna twist this cup right around here to the edge. Pour a little bit of white in here. A little bit on the outside of the cup. Get the paint's gray again. Reflex green. Blue quartz. A little bit of white. And a lot of phthalo blue. Just gonna lift. Twist out here. I think I'll put it right there at the top. Add a little white to the outside as well as the inside. I think with this one, I'm going to start with the phthalo.
then the reflex. Touch of white. Paints gray. kind of lifting and dragging through. Let's figure out where the weight is. I'm gonna walk it down here.
need to do now is clean up the edges get rid of some things like this little line don't need any extra color poking through Okay guys, I'm gonna bring you down. All right, you guys, here we are with the wet result. Now, this I'm really loving, and what I love so much about it is not only is the composition really cool, but the cells, the lacing that this made without using Australian Floetrol. This is just thinner paints, but you can really see each color when I bring you up in here close. So, we've got the phthalo blue, you got the blue quartz. You've got that green, the reflex green. Look how it's just poking back through the white there. I love that. Up here too. Look at that green poking through. Cells upon cells upon cells. Really cool. But there's that blue quartz. Just a phenomenal result. There's that green inside the blue. You got the uh, Payne's gray. I love this over here. Look at the blue quartz poking through the white. Just looks like a little bitty eyeballs, the cells and cells and cells. Then of course the negative space just makes it. All right guys, we'll see this when it's dry. I'll be right back. All right guys, here we are with the dried result out here in the sunlight. Looks amazing. Love this color combination. Really dried amazing. Let me bring you in here. guys that's it that was a success love how this came out it dried just fantastic you see bits of the green through here I love this reflex green from Amsterdam also with the Payne's gray reflex green and Payne's gray just does some wonderful things together also this uh, blue from uh, folk art this was the um, uh, my brains lost <laughs> <laughs> but it was uh, Arteza's Glacier Blue mixed with some of the folk art in the Blue Quartz. That's what it was. It was Blue Quartz. So it really, really is showing up. You get to see every single color in here. You got the green. You got the Payne's Gray. You got the Blue Quartz. Um, and then, again, the Reflex Green. I just love it. It's just hints of it. It's in there. So really dried amazing. So this one's going to get some gloss varnish on it. Uh, so I'm very excited about this one. I love playing with open cup pours. You guys know that. Um, so I might do some more of these uh, really soon here. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on, uh, what is it? Wednesday. So I'll see you on Sunday. <laughs> everyone have a great rest of the week. Take care and bye-bye.